Uh, tucked, fully tucked or untucked. Hiya, welcome to Craftwork. I'm Ruthie and today I am so excited because I'm going to be announcing my very first giveaway. Yay! So in celebration of hitting 1,000 subscribers, I wanted to give back to you and I have a doozy of a prize. So stick around till the end um, where I'll be announcing what the prize is and how you can enter. But yeah, first of all, let's do a video. Now this video is kind of part review, but also I wanted to kind of take you through my journey. Okay. So, so if you've seen my other videos, you will know that I love this book, which is The Curated Closet by Anushka Rees. I got it for Christmas from my lovely mum, thanks mum, um, but it was something that I had sort of put on a wish list. Now the reason I want it is because I'd read some good reviews and heard some good reviews about it and I was at a point in my sewing particularly where I was able to make more things that were really useful to my life. So when I first started sewing I think my personal style then could be described as handmade <laughs> because I was definitely... Um, I was wearing all of my handmade stuff. I very quickly built up enough clothes that I could be wearing handmade most of the time, at least like something handmade. And but I was still limited by my skills and yeah, what I was yeah. sewing. It was very handmade and it was all like in like quilting cottons, novelty prints, etc. Anyway, now I've got to a point where I can sew with knits, I can make jeans, I can make coats. None of it's perfect, but yeah, I can make stuff that's actually like, um, representative of my style and representative of my lifestyle as well. Yeah. With that in mind, as you will also know, I've still been making some things that aren't useful to my lifestyle and aren't representative of my personal style and they have never been worn. And to make something that you never wear, even though maybe it doesn't have that many mistakes or, you know, is perfectly wearable for someone else, yes, you can just you can give it away to charity or give it to a friend and someone else will really appreciate it and that's all great but it does feel like okay I just wanted to do that less I guess yeah I know you always learn things from mistakes um and I certainly did from all of those makes so I don't regret doing them but now I want to make sure that I'm not making those same mistakes again of making something that is not useful so that's where this book comes in and yeah I thought I would talk you through not only um what I think of the book and how it has helped me but sort of like yeah my journey through my personal style with the use of some of the things in this book. Curated Closet is about having a wardrobe that actually reflects what you want it to reflect so your lifestyle, your personality, your taste etc because that sounds a bit stupid, like, well, obviously your wardrobe reflects that anyway because you're making those choices. That's not necessarily true. For someone like me anyway, um, I go through a lot of different styles. I've been through so many styles in my life already and I'm sure my style will continue to change and evolve. But yeah, this, this has methods to help me like actually find it rather than having just millions of different styles and then and then I tend to find that I will have like two or three outfits that I rotate and then I don't feel good when I'm wearing other outfits if that makes sense. So yeah, I needed help and this book has definitely helped me. So yeah, I'll just go through some, some different tasks that I did and what results I got from them. Obviously I don't want to give you like everything in the book, A because that would be far too long and I wouldn't do it justice, but also B because that would probably be plagiarism and I do recommend buying the book. The first bit in the introduction um, it encourages you to just document what you wear. So it says for two weeks. I did it for a little bit longer just because when I was doing it it was like January and I wanted to make sure that it was really representative of my life because there are some obviously sometimes in our life when we don't socialise much, January being one of those for many people, including myself and a lot of my friends. But the next bit um, is doing, is thinking about your personal style and your personal preferences when you're looking at other people's outfits, if that makes sense. So I started with Pinterest. Anushka 
doesn't necessarily recommend Pinterest. I mean, she says it's a good place to start, but then you're gonna need like a folder or some way that you can um, move the images around. Cause that is the issue with Pinterest. I think it's a shame that you can't move the images on the board. And if you can, and I just haven't worked it out, uh, let me know. And then it gets you to sort of like write a style profile. So I'll show you, I've got, I've got my little tabs in my book. Uh, so yeah, it just gets you to write down things you like, um, which you can see here. And it has like overall vibe, individual items, colors, silhouettes, materials, styling, and you just like write, you just try and find patterns in what you have saved in the images that you've saved. You could, And as I say, if you put them somewhere where you can move the images around, then obviously you can group them into little categories and you just try and find sort of like patterns. I will insert some images here for you to see, but I won't go through, through it individually. But some of the main things that surprised me was I was definitely leaning more towards wide leg trousers rather than like a peg leg or a... Um, skinny jean which was actually what I predominantly had in my wardrobe and then yeah so that's one of the things that led me to making the lander pants last week and I love them and I really love the shape and it's made me realize that that is actually my preferred shape to wear I think it suits me more um, and I feel comfortable in it maybe that's just fashion maybe it's just Instagram but yeah th that was that was definitely a surprising thing another surprising thing was on the section styling it's about like thinking about like accessories or like how you wear something so whether you like roll up sleeves etc so um i noticed that a lot of the images had a kind of lazy tuck i think it's called uh, and particularly in high-waisted trousers so or skirts so i was like yeah gravitating towards images and styling where they were wearing maybe an oversized jumper or a crop jumper and just the front part was tucked into high-waisted trousers um so i hadn't really ever worn my shirts or jumpers like that i was wearing everything either fully tucked in or like completely loose so yeah to realize that that was a style that i liked i now do it all the time and i love it. and also another surprising thing i was going for quite a lot more color than i thought i was but not printed there was a lot of solid block colors and yeah i've been really enjoying playing with that in what i've got in my wardrobe and what i'm choosing when i'm like buying fabric and stuff and the materials that I was leaning towards were like natural fibers. So like knitted things, but also linen, um, cotton, denim, etc. Um, but I do tend to buy a lot of like viscose um, and kind of polyester, <laughs> mainly because I'm cheap. Um, but also because I get distracted by like beautiful like floral prints and stuff. Um, but yeah, real doing this style profile and realizing that's not actually what I liked um was was quite eye-opening because that was kind of I kind of knew that I wasn't as into floral prints as my wardrobe would suggest but um yeah it was good to like write that down and confirm that as well I mean okay it might be a seasonal thing and maybe as we move further into spring and summer maybe I will like yeah go for those again and go for more pastel colors again but at the moment, definitely, I'm gravitating towards block colours, bright colours, um, and solid material, and definitely natural fibres. So that was a good thing to realise. The next section is about building your dream wardrobe. So tasks included, selecting a colour palette. This can evolve and change, and she's very clear about that. But yeah, it's nice to sort of know where your palette kind of sits um mine is yeah mine is a lot darker than I thought it was and then also it do, it has this like closet detox uh, this was this is one of the best things as well because it has this this flow chart it has quite a lot of flow charts in general but yeah this flow chart like really helps when you're clearing out a wardrobe it yeah asks you various questions that you forget to ask yourself um, and it's very clear. Then the next bit that I really enjoyed was then doing a pie chart that kind of asks you to look at different parts of your lifestyle and kind of categorize them into different like 
outfit styles that you might need. The idea is that your wardrobe pie chart would reflect your lifestyle pie chart. Does that make sense? A lot of these tasks I probably will have to do again soon because my life changes. Sometimes I'm not working from home uh, for long periods of time. The other thing is the whole approach is really gentle. I didn't want the book to kind of like completely overhaul my wardrobe and make me feel like everything's about to change and it's gonna like be a magic wand and suddenly I'm only gonna have a perfect wardrobe. But it was really useful for me to do because like going forward, I can now take some of those skills and the things that I've learned about what I like and then I can choose the patterns or the styles and the fabrics that I know will fit that. Especially because we all tend to like add to our fabric stash all the time. <laughs> even if we don't have something in mind. I do that all the time, partly because I buy like sample fabrics a lot and they can be quite cheap and they're not gonna be available again. So I can't just like ruminate on it. Um, so I do have to kind of go by impulse, but I wanted to make sure that, that impulse was somewhat informed. Does that make sense? But yeah, I feel like this book has definitely helped me inform my impulse buying. A little bit at least. So yeah, I really, really love this book and I highly recommend it if you are sort of having similar thoughts about like what you're making or what you are buying and thinking that you need a little bit of help. I think my style will continue to change. I don't think it's about just like finding a personal style that you stick to forever. It's about like having methods and um, approaches to styling that suits you your personality and your lifestyle so that you always have um at least the majority of your wardrobe really reflecting what you actually need and what you actually want to wear and if you hadn't already guessed i have one copy of curated closet to give away not this one obviously this is mine but your very own copy um the lovely anushka reese is donating a copy to this giveaway so thank you so much anushka um I, yeah, I absolutely love this book and I'm so pleased to do a giveaway that really reflects my channel and things that I've been talking about. So yeah, that's really exciting and she's gonna be sending it to me and then I will send it anywhere in the world. You can enter by commenting down below um, and that will give you one entry. There's also a post on my Instagram that you can comment on for another entry and then for a final third entry, you can comment on the post on my Facebook. I will link those posts down below as well. So do go and check those out. Yeah, basically you can have up to three entries, but you don't have to. You can just do one entry just by commenting down below or yeah, picking one of the other platforms. But yeah, up to three entries are possible on this. So if you want to win this book, that's all you have to do to enter and then I will be picking at random. So you have until next Sunday the 25th at midday to enter, that's GMT, midday GMT. Yeah. 25th of March 2018 is the deadline. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you found this useful, hope you can see how it's related to sewing, um, certainly how it's related to my sewing and my choices. I thought it would be good to kind of give a bit of a backstory to that. Um, and yeah, I will be back next week with another video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and pop on over to Instagram and Facebook where you can follow me there. Have a great week and I will see you again next Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye.